Thank you. I would like to talk about America. Are any Americans in? No, that's a shame. <laughs> Worried about America, guys. I don't think they take us seriously, right? They're supposed to be our biggest ally. We do everything they say. They don't take us seriously. And I know that for a fact because last year, the US Embassy to Australia posted something on their Twitter account. Now, I know some of you are going, oh, Tom, it's not actually called Twitter anymore. It's not actually called Twitter anymore. How about you go fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> So you're getting corrected. It's not called Twitter, Tom, it's called X. Okay, how do I get onto X? Go to Twitter.com. <laughs> Shouldn't I go to X.com? No, do not go to X.com. <laughs> fucking bad news. I looked it up, you can look this up, this is genuinely true. The US Embassy to Australia posted a guide to Australian slang on their Twitter account, okay? They had a fun little graphic, it said Australia, speak like a local, it had a list of American words and a list of those words translated into Australian, okay? Now I'm gonna share this list with you, my friends. Bit of a warning, a lot of what you're about to hear does constitute hate speech. <laughs> and not Sam Kerr hate speech, actual hate speech, okay? That's... <laughs> Yeah, I'm a hero. Um, <laughs> to be fair, the list starts out okay. The first word on the list is friend, and of course, the Australian slang for friend is? Yes. Fuck a knife. <laughs> In Australia, we call our friends mates. We love mateship, we fucking invented that, mate. We came out, we love mates in Australia. We believe in standing by your mates, whether it's helping out your fellow diggers in the trenches in Gallipoli or sculling beer out of the prosthetic leg of one of your war crime victims, all right? That's what Australia <laughs> is all about. Oh, justice for Ben, Burr. So all right, America, I'll give that to you. Friend, mate, fair enough. Then the list goes off the rails, okay? The second word on the list is tourist, and according to the US Embassy to Australia, the Australian slang for tourist is freshy. <laughs> Fresh, have you heard anyone refer to a tourist as a freshy? No, of course you haven't, because that would be creepy as hell. <laughs> Just a guy at the airport going, yeah, look at all the freshies, num, 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 num. <laughs> Get it right, America, no Australian is ever referred to a tourist as a freshy. Maybe Ivan Milat. That's the only one. But... <laughs> Too soon for that one, really? <clears throat> all right, boom, the list for shoes, they've got chubbers, which is not a thing at all. For money, they've got dollary doos, which was a joke from the Simpsons. For cigarette, they've got koala log, piss off, America. It's durry, you yank dogs. Check this out, for kangaroo, they've got bouncy mouse. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that sounds like what Captain Cook would have said when he saw one for the first fucking time. Dear God, Banks, what's that creature? It's some kind of bouncy mouse! <laughs> Quick, shoot it before it kills us all! Protect the cheese! <laughs> all right, last few words here. For toilet, they've got bogger bogger. <laughs> Airplane is sky gator. Moon, mother onion, and car trunk is Finnegan's hole. Just a reminder, we followed these people into Iraq, okay? We spent billions of our hard-earned dollary dues helping America send that country down the fucking bugger bugger, and this is how these freshies talk to us. Jesus Christ. Can you believe these were the first ones to the mother onion? Fuck me dead. Oh, Tom, oh, Tom, check the date. It was probably posted on April Fool's Day. No, nah, September 28th, okay? 17 days after the anniversary of that fateful morning when those evil terrorist drongos flew two sky gators into the fucking flaming 20 big sticks, this is what the US Embassy is serving up. Struth, blow me down, blimey, fuck these seppos in their Finnegan's hole. Trump 2024, have a great festival. Good night, everyone.